what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, as you can see from the title down below, ipapakita ko sa inyo yung current go-to makeup look ko, which is really fresh and glowy makeup lang. Like, kapag sinusuot ko tong makeup na to, lagi niyo akong sinasabihan na para kong koreana, pang ganoon. <laughs> Tapos, it makes your skin look really nice and flawless. And, um, I think perfect siya for the summertime or para dito sa ating klima sa Pilipinas. Dahil, it's at least for me, it keeps my oil at bay. And you know, I have really oily skin, especially sa aking nose, T-zone cheeks, all that, everywhere. Super oily ko. So this has been my current go-to makeup look. And yeah, without any further ado, let us begin. So as you can see naman dito, meron tayong pa fairy lights na ganap. And galing yan sa aking friend. Um, all things random dito sa Cebu. Please check out their Facebook page. I'll leave the link in the description box below. Cute, diba? Cute, cute! <laughs> Wala lang. May pa fairy lights sa Mayora. So, okay. Magsimula na tayo. First, um, actually, I've already toned and moisturized my face. So, um, nainitan ako, guys. Pasensya na kung maingay yung aircon. Pero, nainitan pa rin ako kahit na naka-on yung aircon. Bakit ganon? Anyway, I'll be using my, um, Soothing and Moisturizing Aloe Vera 92% Soothing Mist by Nature Republic. Nakuha ko to sa Althea, Korea. Lalagay ko yung link sa description box below in case you guys are interested as well. Doon mo mabibili ito. Super affordable. Like 260 pesos lang yata. And you are sure na it is really authentic. Kasi galing talaga siya sa Korea. So, this is spray ko siya. All over my face. Super sarap nito sa pakiramdam, guys. As in, kasi pag-spray mo sa kanya, ultimately, parang nabibigay siya ng cooling effect. And may na-moisturize na din niya yung iyong face. Parang nakakabigay ng revitalizing, rejuvenating effect char. <laughs> so, yun. Basta. Napakaganda niya. Tapos, I have this mini fan with me. And ginagamit ko to para mas madali siyang mag-dry. Para makamove on na tayo sa next step. I'm thinking na ilagay ko ito dito, yung aking fan. Like dito sa baba. Kasi nainitan talaga ako guys, as in. Napapawisan na aking kalakawan. Okay, so first things first, I always start with my base makeup. Yung iba start sila sa kanilang eyes. Pero ako, I usually start with my face. The foundation that I've been using a lot lately, favorite ko na to since last year. I actually did a review on it, nung hindi pa siya available dito sa Philippines. Pero I stopped using it kasi hindi nga siya available dito. Ay gusto ko naman yung mga ginagamit ko dito sa aking channel are all available here in the Philippines. So, ngayon available na siya so I can continue using it kasi... Okay, it is the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Liquid Foundation, and I am in the shade 102. Now, with this foundation, I find that it works great if you use a sponge with it. And with this foundation, I only get like medium to full coverage out of it. I don't know kung gamit niyo yung fingers niyo or brush, baka definitely baka makakuha kayo ng more coverage out of it. Pero para sa akin, mas tight ko yung finish with this sponge. Pa ulit ulit ako. Diba? Bongga! I love this so much. Isa sa mga nagustuhan ko rin sa foundation na ito is that it feels super light sa aking face. Kahit na i-apply multiple layers, super light pa rin niya sa pakiramdam. And kapag nag-set na siya, kapag hinawakan mo yung face mo, it will feel super smooth as in. So, with this foundation, I don't like using a primer with it. Kasi feeling ko, parang nag oxidize siya sa akin if I use a primer and a powder with it. So, hindi ko na siya pinapowderan. Di ba? Tipid sa product. Hindi mo na kailangan ng primer and hindi mo na kailangan ng powder. And to me, this one just feels so thin na kahit na marami akong layers na nilagay, it still looks pretty natural. I love it. I love it a lot! Tapos, I like to drag it down my neck as well. Para pantay yung kulay. Alright, so once you have your foundation on, bongga na tayo para lang walang mga sumpa. Pero, klaro pa ng konti. Kasi hindi nga siya super full coverage. Pero okay na okay na okay na ito para sa akin. By the way, another thing about this foundation, uh, medyo mabilis siyang mag-set or mabilis siyang matuyo. So, you don't want to dot it all over your face tapos be-blend mo siya. Gust yung gusto mong gawin is put it on your face, blend. Put it on your face, blend. Ganun. Okay. For concealer, I'm going to mix two of my favorite concealers, like my favorite combo. Kung I use them like just by themselves, hindi ko sila favorite. Pero if I use them as a combo, favorite ko sila. 
So this is the LA Girl Pro Conceal HD Concealer and the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Fair. This one is in the shade Creamy Beige by the way. Don't worry, I'll have the list of all the products I use in the description box below. So first, I use si LA Girl as a corrector because it's dark ng aking under eyes lately <laughs> because I'm not getting enough sleep. Ayan, ilalagay ko lang siya dito sa inner corners kasi andito naman yung pinaka-dark na areas ng aking under eyes. Tsaka ilalagay ko na rin siya sa aking eyelid to serve as my eyeshadow base later on. Then, here comes the Maybelline Fit Me. Ipapatong ko lang siya on top. Ayan, I'll drag it down para makonceal ko rin yung sides of my nose. Kasi meron akong discoloration there. I think most of us girls have discoloration sa sides of the nose. Hormones, diba? Sometimes, I like to highlight like the center of the face. Pero sometimes, I don't. Feeling ko na-alter kasi nitong highlighter na ito yung oil controlling capabilities ng foundation. So sometimes, I don't like to highlight the center of the face kasi that's where I get super oily. Then, I'm going to blend it in with the same sponge. This just feels so therapeutic to me as in yung paglalagay ko ng foundation and concealer. Ay, para akong nasa spa. Parang nakikita ko yung nagtatransform yung aking skin. Napaka-therapeutic. Yung ibang tao, they love doing their brows. Me, I hate doing my brows. Um, but I love doing my foundation and concealer as well. How about you, mga bebe? What's your favorite part of like your makeup routine? Tell me in the comment section below. Pagkikahan tayo doon. Diba? Ang ganda ng finish ng combo na to! Love it! As you can see, kapag bineblend ko siya, ini-include ko yung size of the nose kasi that will help with the contouring process later on. Tapos, with whatever is left on the sponge, ilalagay ko siya sa center of the face. Para hindi masyado maging cakey and wala lang. Para mabalance out na rin yung lightness under the eyes magiging light na rin ang konti yung center of the face. Right, pardon me, I had to change my battery and now, um, oh, okay. Tapos na tayo sa concealer, medyo nakalimutan ko anong ginawa natin. Now, I'm going to go ahead and proceed to my liquid highlighter. Hindi ako masyado nag-liquid highlighter at all. Pero ngayon, since I tried it and nagustuhan ko, parang it really leveled up the glow. Kasi napansin nyo talaga yung kagandahan ng glow. Talaga nakaka-fresh talaga siya. I'm gonna use this Maybelline New York Master Strobing Cream by Face Studio. It's in the shade Nude. And binili ito ni Kenneth para sa akin para dun sa aming husband does my makeup tag. Or husband buys my makeup tag. So, Kung hindi pa napanood yun, I'll put it in the description box below. By the way, I'm gonna shake it first. Tapos, I'm gonna put just a tiny bit on the back of my hand. Probably just that much. Ayan, super konti lang. And then, I'm also going to use the same sponge with this one. Tapos, I'm gonna apply it here on the tops of my cheekbones. Just like that. Tapos, blend it in. This one doesn't really do that much for me, pero napansin ko na oh, super natural glow lang na bigay. Uh, <laughs> so, it doesn't really do that much for me, pero napansin ko na kapag ginawa mo siyang base for your highlighter, talagang nagpa-pop talaga ang iyong highlight. As in, see, parang medyo wala lang, pero pwede mo siyang gawing base. Tapos, I'm just gonna add a little bit more. Tsaka, ina-drag ko siya. Oh. Ayan, super natural glow lang yung nabibigay niya. <laughs> super natural glow. Tapos, other side, just the same step. Diyan ko lang siya nilalagay, hindi ko na nilalagyan yung aking nose and other parts of my face kasi wala lang, hindi ko type. Right, so now we're gonna proceed to baking our face. I'm gonna use my Nichido Final Powder. Tinanggal ko na yung kanyang sifter para mas madali ko siyang malagay yung sponge ko dyan. So, I think that's a really good idea. Diba? Tapo na natin yung under eyes para mawala yung mga crease. Try kong hindi i-touch yung 
merong highlight na part ng aking face. Kasi that would only defeat the purpose of our highlighting. Ayan. Tapos, dito rin sa eyelid, magbibake din ako dito. Kasi I have oily eyelids. I don't know guys, pero kapag ganito yung mga look na sinusport ko, yung mga super fresh na look, ang dami yung nagre-request na gumawa ko ng video or tutorial. So yun, parang gustong gusto niyo yung mga fresh fresh na lang na look, mga pa virgin na look. Okay, so yun, perfect. Now let's move on to the brow. So habang hinihintay ko na mag-cook or mag-bake yung aking powder underneath my eyes, gagawin ko yung aking brows. By the way, kapag yung foundation na yun, yung ginagamit ko, I don't um, apply powder on my face kasi para na-alter niya yung look na foundation. Parang mas nag... Parang it makes it look super cakey and not natural for me. Oh, di ba? Ang ganda-ganda ng fairy lights! Ah! <laughs> Gusto lang na talaga Nag-bong, nag-bong. Ang ganda, di ba? Para sa background. Alright, so para sa ating kilay, I always start by brushing them in, just using a spoolie para matanggal yung foundation dyan. Ayan, just like that, para they lay where you want them to be, tapos para mas madali yung pagkikilay na process. And then, lately, oh by the way, parang for today, I'm using some of my favorite products dun sa aking favorites video. Kasi ito talaga yung lagi kong ginagamit for the month of May. For my kilay, I've been using this one lately. It's by Nichido. It's their Minerals Precise Eye Pencil. This one is in the shade Chestnut. Ayan, ganun yung tura niya. And this was only 138 pesos. So what's that, di ba? Very, very affordable. Okay, so what you do first is since hindi siya nakatasa, as you can see, medyo pudpud siya. Tama ba yung Tagalog? Pod, pod. Tasahan yung muna siya, yung pencil. Perfect! Ayan, di ba? Matulis na siya. Now, this is how I do my kilay. Kapal pencil lang. I start here, sa baba, tapos dito sa gitna na part. Then, I just try to have a very light hand. Ayan, very light pressure lang. Tapos, dito naman sa itaas. Sa gitna din ako nagsisimula. Ayan, working my way to the arch. Ayan, I work my way in. A very, very light hand. As in, a very, very light hand. Yung pata yung bosses mo. Magiging light din. Parang magiging mapipinit siya. Then, I just fill in all of the bald spots. Super light lang pag fill in ha. Hindi yung super diin. Like before, nung nagsistart pa lang akong magkilay, super dinid in na ko yung pag fill in ng aking brows. Parang Instagram brows talaga, all day, every day. Like yung paglagay nyo ng strokes along the grain of the hair. Like kung paano tumutubo yung buhok, ganyan nyo rin siya do-drawing. Ayan, diba? Perfect! I hope I wasn't focused that entire time. And then, I'm gonna take my spoolie. And I'm gonna brush it in para mawala yung mga harsh lines. Tsaka para mas magbukha pa talaga siyang mas natural. Tapos I take the angled part. And I fix ko lang yung mga parang medyo crooked lines. Tapos dito parang medyo may harsh line. I flick up ko lang siya. And, ayan! That's how I do my brows with the eyebrow pencil. Super, ito yung palagi kong ginagamit lately. Kasi, parang mas madali siyang gamitin compared dun sa Maybelline Fashion Brow, yung Holy Grail ko talaga na brow product. It's still my Holy Grail product. 
Pero mas matagal kasi yung gamitin kasi you have to put the wax first and then yung powder and then brow gel. Diba tatlong step. Ito pencil lang, tapos brow gel, and I'm good to go. Pwede nga siya walang brow gel. Pero mas gusto ko merong brow gel para mas pantay siya sa ating hair lily. So for my brow mascara, I'm gonna use this one from Sun Sun. It's just their eyebrow mascara in the shade Light Brown. Another one of those really great bargain finds, as in favorite, favorite ko talaga to. Like if you have blonde or light brown hair, this is the way to go. Ayan, so with the brow mascara, I coat my brow hairs. Tapos, I literally go everywhere, like against the growth of the hair. Para mas makot talaga evenly yung mga hair strands ko. I think this one is running out. It's running low. Ayan. There you go. Diba? Bongga na siya. Mas, mas mag-match na ang hair color ng ating eyebrows sa ating buhok sa ulo. <laughs> Alright, so now to save time, I'm gonna do the other brow off camera and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so here we go. Tapos ko na yung aking brows. And looking at it, like, closely, in the mirror, na ginagawa ko itong brow na ito, I saw that they look pretty darn strong. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, anyway. Since andyan na yan, tapos yun na lang natin. I'm gonna use a brush, tapos i-brush away na natin yung excess powder sa ating under eyes. It's been cooking for so long. Baka ma-overcook siya. Baka masinunog. Ayan. And then, after that, I just apply, like, yung excess powder na andito sa brush. Like, just from sweeping off our bake. Apply ko siya all over my face. Okay. Then, since napa-strong ang ating brows, mag-apply uh, mag tayo ng konting eyeshadow. Pero hindi talaga eyeshadow yung lalagay ko. Usually, I don't really apply eyeshadow and quite frankly, I don't want to. Wag na lang. Hindi ko tayo pag eyeshadow kasi nakakapagod. Okay, so let's just move on with our face. Let's continue sa ating face. I'm gonna go ahead and bronze up my face. Usually, ginagamit ko si Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer or sometimes I also use this contouring powder from Shawil. It's their perfect powder in the shade 003. For today, gamitin ko si Butter Bronzer. Kasi ito yung aking ultimate favorite. By the way, mine is in the shade Light Bronzer. Parang dalawa lang yata yung shade nito. Light Bronzer and Bronzer. So this one is Light Bronzer. Feeling ko itong Light Bronzer mas warm siya compared sa bronzer na shade, pero maganda pa rin siya. Okay na okay siya. Diba? Ganda! Ganzaram ta. Ganzaram na tayo. Then, maglalagay din ako dito sa aking temples up to the forehead. As you know, I have quite a wide forehead. <laughs> it's wide and it's kind of bugdo. Anong, anong Tagalog ng bugdo? Um, yung pa ganyan a concave. <laughs> See, kahit na hindi ako nag, ano, kahit na hindi ako nag-powder all over my face, smooth pa rin yung paglagay ko ng powder products, like bronzer, blush, and highlight. Smooth pa rin siya, hindi kagaya like sa other foundations kapag um, hindi mo siya pinowder. Kasi yung foundation na ginamit ko is not tacky. Meron siyang powdery finish. So, okay lang hindi mo powder. Bongga! Okay, magma-nose line ako kasi gusto ko lang mag-nose line. Tumitin ko si Shawil Perfect Powder. Ito yung pinaka-favorite ko na pang-nose line. As in, this is the perfect shade ng pang-contour. As in, I'm gonna use a small brush like this one. This is from BH Cosmetics. And, tap off all the excess powder. Usually, nagsistart talaga ako di start talaga ako dito sa dito, sumula ng brows. Working my way down. Konting-konti lang pag-dab ko. Parang ganyan na. Ganyan. And then, I tap off all the excess powder para hindi tayo makasobrahan. 
and the same step starting dito sa may kilay working our way down lalaki ng pores ko sa ilong ngayon bakit kaya parang pang malakasan yung pores ko sa ilong ngayon anyari pores ba't kayo nagpapasikat today ha huh? naglalagay din ako dito sa ilalim para it will lift up my nose Right now, let's continue on with the face. Um, maglalagay ako ng blush. This is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in the shade for Lesson Pink. I'm gonna use just the same brush and clean it off dito lang sa back of my hand. This is another trick, like if you don't have a lot of brushes or tamad ka maglaba ng maraming brushes, this is a good trick to use. Kasi ako, I mostly use like two to three face brushes. Tapos, kasi I like to wash my brushes every time I use them. Ayoko yung nire-reuse yung brushes na marumi. Now, itong blush na ito is quite pigmented. So, you only need a tiny bit and make sure to tap off the excess. Tapos, I like to apply my brushes. Brush. Blush starting here, like where the eye ends chart. Ayan. Kita ba sa camera yung color? Parang super light naman ang nilagay ko. Lagay pa tayo ng konti. This is really very nice kasi parang peachy pink siya na color. Tapos meron parang gold specks of glitter. Pero super tiny lang ng glitter niya. Ayan. Dito ko lang siya nilalagay. Para mas magbigay siya ng slimmer look. Now, if you want to achieve like a super um, parang bata na look, you can apply it here sa apples and the cheeks. But I do that sometimes. Pero... Minsan, dito ko lang din siya nilalagay kasi mas nakakapayap tignan. Okay, so now it's time for the star of the show. The highlighter! Gagamitin ko ito, si for you to this and that facial expressions. As you can see, wala siyang shade name dyan. Pero, ganito lang siya. It comes in like this plastic packaging. Wala siyang shade na yun. Nakakaloka. Pero malami sila dong shades sa For You too And meron ding mas white nito na highlighter pala. Pero I like this one yung parang medyo champagne na shade. So, i-try natin na siya. Wala na akong kikitang ganitong shade. Meron nagwawali sa labas. Pasensya na ko medyo maingay. Um, wala na akong nagkita. Grand. Wala na akong nagkita ng ganitong shade sa For You too Kasi gusto kong bumili. Kasi napakaganda niya. Oh, tingnan niyo naman. Napakaganda niya, di ba? Pero wala nang ganitong shade doon. Nahanap-hanap ko siya, pero wala nga. Tapos maglalagay din ako dito. Doon sa aking mga looks, naglalagay din ako dito. Sa ibabaw ng forehead. At para mas magmukha talaga tayo. I love. I also apply some dito sa aking Cupid's bow. Okay, now sa nose highlight naman, um, I only use this one from Daiso. It's the nose shadow, shadow and highlight. And ito talaga yung favorite ko. Bakit? Kasi hindi niya na-accentuate yung pores ng aking ilong. Especially ngayon, galit na galit ang pores sa aking ilong. So, gagamitin ko siya. Kuha lang ako ng konti. And I apply it here sa center ng aking ilong. Back. <laughs> okay, now, tapusin na natin yung ating look. Usually, hindi ako naglalagay ng eyeliner or falsies. Nagmamaskara lang talaga. Kalimutan kong ilagay ang aking mascara rest, aking clay beige. Heats up your mascara, it warms it up. And parang mas napapaganda niya yung, and parang mas napapaganda yung formula, parang you get more out of your mascara. So I'm always up for that. And um, siguro since pinapainit pa natin yung mascara, mag-lipstick muna tayo. Yung favorite kong ginagamit lately and kapag ito yung ginagamit ko, ang dami nagsasabi na ang ganda daw ng lipstick ko, nakaka-fresh. Buti na lang maganda siya kasi medyo maharli ka siya. It's the Estee Lauder Pure Color Long Lasting Lipstick Rouge in the shade 
Voice the Rose. Hindi ko alam paano siya sabihin, pero I'll put it in the description box below. Ang ganda ng packaging. Oh, gold na gold. Actually, matagal na to sa akin, and parang na, parang na re-fall in love na ako sa kanya. One swipe, goodness, it is. I curl it from the roots all the way up. Akin mascara, which is the Heroin Make Long and Curl Mascara. Um, for the past few days, hindi ako gumagamit ng makeup setting spray talaga. I just use this one, this spray from Nature Republic. It really dissolves all the powder products and dissolve ba? Para pinapaset niya talaga yung powder products para mas, mabu para mas mabuka siyang skin-like and mas natural tignan, hindi super powdery and mas pinapapop niya yeah, yung highlight, mas natural tignan ng yung face. And, um, pero hindi niya napropulong ang makeup ha, kasi hindi naman siya yung setting spray talaga. Tapos napaka-fine ang mist niya. Ay! Let's go! Tama na. Sarap! So, aayusin ko muna yung aking hair, tsaka hintayin ko itong mag-dry para natanggal ko siya. And I'll be right back with better hair. Okay, you guys, so here is the final look. Sana nagustan niyo itong video na ito. I tried to make it really easy to follow. Very simple steps, di ba? Di ba? So, yun. Tsaka, mostly naman sa products na ginamit ko are affordable and most of them were locally available. So, yun. Sana nagustuhan ninyo. And kung gusto niyo siyang gayahin, napakadali lang naman. Itag niyo ako sa Instagram at feeling ina. Tapos ipollow niyo na rin ako. Very active ako sa aking IG stories. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. And also, please subscribe to my channel kung hindi ka pala ka-subscribe. I upload here every other day. Sometimes even every day kapag meron ako maraming film. And also, if you want to be notified, please click the bell button beside the subscribe button so you can notify every time you upload a new video. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Also, leave me your comments in the comment section below. Let's interact down there. I always reply to comments. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye! Bow, chicka, bow, bow. Pero, mas matagal kasi yung sila. Super sarap ito sa pakira. And, I'm going to... Eh, kasi meron na tayong... Ano yung sasabihin ko? Ayan, nag-moisturize na rin yung sila. Super sarap nito sa pakira. I don't know. Got a wet my sponge.